Hello and welcome to this video training series from cgcookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and in these next 15 hours I'm going to be taking you through the entire process needed to model this vehicle design done by David Ravoy, who many of you will know from the Blender Foundation's Sintel Movie Project. Using this concept art and the modeling sheets provided by David, we're going to be going through the entire process from start to finish to model this entire vehicle. We'll start by blocking in all of the major forms of our vehicle to start getting a good idea of the silhouette and general feeling of our model. We'll then move on to some smaller blocking details to start getting a better idea of how everything is put together in here. Since you'll notice, particularly in the engine areas, we've got a lot of different components to work with uh, that we definitely want to work through very carefully before moving on to the detail stage. As soon as we're ready for the detail stage, we'll move in on the front section of the vehicle to start doing some good detailing. Of course, always focusing on clean topology and working with a lot of edge-by-edge -edge modeling tools, along with making good use of the edge slide, edge loop, and creasing functionality. We'll then move on to start detailing the midsection, particularly in the engine area, working with a lot of piece-by-piece piece modeling to kind of create everything that we're looking at, including working with meshes and curves in some areas. We'll then go on to focus on the wings, again focusing on clean topology, shapes, and getting a realistic and believable feeling to our model. Then we'll follow this up by working on the tail section, again focusing on the same things, making good use of multiple different kinds of modifiers, including arrays, mirrors, and so on. And then finally, we'll move in back to the cockpit to do a little bit of interior modeling to give us a good indication, even from a distance, that this is a complete model that we could animate, we can render, and it will still feel complete without feeling lazy as if we just kind of ignored the middle section. So overall, we're left with a final vehicle that goes through each stage of the process using box modeling, edge modeling, modifiers, and many other modeling tools in Blender to be left with this final result that is ready to be textured, rendered, animated, or whatever else you wish to do with it.